As you probably know, I tend to wear basics nine times out of ten. It's sort of my comfort zone and how I feel really comfortable in what I'm wearing as well kind of forms the basis of a lot of my outfits. I recently did a video talking about how to elevate really basic outfits and I'm back with a second video in the series. This one's a little bit more geared to warmer weather, so perfect if you're in the southern hemisphere like me and you're kind of going to be heading towards spring or I hope still relevant if you live in the northern hemisphere and you're currently experiencing warmer temperatures. So I think we're just going to dive into the first outfit which is a really simple slip dress outfit. Now, I love a good slip dress because it can be worn so many ways. I did a video showing you how to wear it 20 ways actually which I'm going to link up in the cards if you'd like to go and check that out. But essentially to me I think the most basic way that you can wear a slip dress is just with a pair of sandals especially when it's really hot. Now there are a couple of different ways that I would probably elevate this to make it look a little bit more interesting or like you kind of put in a bit more effort to your outfit. The first way would be to grab a um, either the same color or a contrasting color blouse and then tie that around the waist. So what this does is it creates a little bit of shape in your natural waist while also adding another texture and another layer to your outfit. I'd also throw on some necklaces just as I find that that helps to add a little bit of extra detail at the neckline and I just think that it's a really pretty contrast, especially if you're wearing black, a nice gold necklace is really beautiful. Maybe even some statement earrings as well if you like. And then I would put on some really nice sandals either something with a low block heel or else something that's a little bit strappy. For the second outfit option, I would throw a blazer on over the top of the slip dress. What this does is it helps you really elevate it and I think make it look more refined and elegant. And you can also wear it a couple of different ways. The first way is just worn open. Otherwise, if you wanted to make it look a little bit more fashion-y, you could belt it at the waist. This is one of those trends that I absolutely love. And I actually feel like this would make it really appropriate for the office as well. On my feet, I would go for some really nice strappy sandals. I've got some beautiful ones from Marge, which I think would look really great and I would keep the same jewelry on as with the first variation. The second outfit combo that I wanted to elevate was a simple t-shirt and jean short combo. Now this is kind of a go-to for me when it is really hot and I don't really want to think about what I'm wearing. Uh, if it is cool enough that I can wear another layer over the top, usually what I would do is I'd throw a blazer on. Now I know that this probably seems like such a huge juxtaposition and why would you wear a long sleeve jacket in the summertime? But if you've got something in a really nice lightweight cotton or a lightweight linen, I feel like it can be the perfect balance, especially because it's a breathable fiber. I've got this really lovely one from Yoli and Otis, which I purchased a few years ago, and it's got these super long sleeves that I cuff a couple of times. My feet, instead of opting for a sandal, maybe I might throw on a pointed toe flat. I just think that this looks a little bit more chic, a bit more polished, and it helps you draw the eye down further and make your legs look longer than they are. For the second variation, instead of wearing a t-shirt, I would swap that out for a linen blouse. This to me, again, is a really nice breathable, but also very comfortable top to wear when it is warmer. I would roll up the sleeves and I would leave the top few buttons undone just because that gives it that very undone but also relaxed look. I would tuck it into the shorts and I'd probably wear a belt around the waist as well just to kind of define that feature. Because this is more of a relaxed look, I think you could wear it with a nice pair of sandals but you could also put on a pair of loafers as well if it isn't too hot and I think that it's just a really nice way to kind of incorporate some of those more, I guess, transitional season styling elements into more of a summer outfit. Then the final outfit combination that I wanted to elevate, which I wear a lot in the summer, is a simple tee and mini skirt combo. Again, I just love reaching for this because it is really easy, very simple, and it's just an outfit put together in one. You do not have to think about it. But probably one of my favorite wardrobe essentials in the summer months is a really nice silk cami. I love that it's a really luxurious fabric, but it's cut into more of a lightweight style, something that is more suitable when it is warm. The ones that I've got in my closet have spaghetti thin straps, which I think are perfect when it's warm. And I like the fact that this is more of a looser fit. So I will tuck this into the mini skirt and then I probably put a nice low block heel on with this just to give me a little bit of height and make it look a little bit more dressed up. Again, you could probably throw something over your shoulders like a nice little cardigan or a blazer if you wanted an additional piece. For the second variation on this, I would go for maybe a short sleeved blouse. I've got a couple in my closet that I really love. One is in a cotton and it's from Madewell. It's a Korea shirt and it's absolutely fantastic. This one has a lot of volume to it, but it is really nice and lightweight, perfect if it is super hot and you don't really want any fabric touching your body. If you want something that's elevated from the get-go, then again, silk is a really great option because it is a natural fiber, so it is breathable. It is a little bit more heavyweight, so I wouldn't recommend wearing it when it's 40 degrees, but I think that can be a nice choice and I've got a beautiful, 
starch blouse from Everlane which has the short sleeves. It's a little bit more fitted, it's kind of a streamlined design but it tucks really nicely and gives you a little bit of volume around your upper half which I think can create really nice balance. Again I would go for a really nice sandal or else a really nice little um, block heeled sandal, something that's going to make you feel uh, like you've got a little bit of extra height but you still feel really comfortable when you can easily walk around in it. Otherwise a pointed toe shoe or something with more of an almond toe I think is a great option. My Vanelli two-tone pumps are definitely one that I pull out a lot especially in the summertime as well just because they are very chic very polished and they kind of go with everything so those are three basic outfits and how I would elevate them for spring summer I hope that you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more videos like this from me if you do have any requests for basic outfits you'd like to see me kind of take up a notch next then please let me know down in the comment section below I'll see you next time with a brand new video see you soon bye <laughs>